So, the trunk is full. Yeah, Zakaria, Abbas, Christmas list. So, let's head to Kandahar. According to Google Maps, the road trip from Kabul to Kandahar should only take nine and a half hours. But given the bad road conditions and the amazing things we were going to about to see on the way, it took us way longer. And I want to show you the highlights of our journey. So, all cramped up in this tiny car. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the locals can even travel with more people in this space. <laughs> yeah. So, we're doing quite well. So, let's go to the bank and get some cash. So, slowly leaving the Kabul center. Right now, we're on the outskirts. To Kandahar? Yes. Have you been to Kandahar? No. Never? Oh, so none of us have been to Kandahar. Yeah. Really? Not even our guides. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Of course, Emma is going to be your guide. She, <laughs> she knows Kandahar. Exactly. So, very excited. So, what was your first impression of Kandahar? Ah, it was nice. Yeah. It was not what I thought it would be. It okay. was wide, open streets. Yes. Um, there was no, I didn't see many Taliban walking around like you do in Kabul. Yes. Uh, people are... Well, it, it kind of reminded me a little bit of Peshawar yeah. in the old bazaar area. Uh-huh. I liked it. Because they're all Pashtun, the majority. Oh, yeah, I see. And it's warmer there, it's hot, right? Yeah. In the south. And uh, the traffic, better than this? Yes. <laughs> all right, here, Kabul, it's horrible traffic. All congestion. See, they're also squeezing <laughs> in the car. Three kids, the driver, and three adults on the back. The car on the back. So, a quick stop at the graveyard here on the roadside. See the mass grave? Well, just stones ready made for new graves. And here we have an interesting place with lots of flags, text written. So, a quick pee break here at this uh, beautiful gas station. Yeah, very modern, like a shell. They have this little engine here, so they have to use the engine to get gas out. Very interesting. But what you can see here. They do even accept cards, although I'm not sure if international credit cards, but at least they do accept cards. Yeah, there's the guide, and uh, we're just having a little quick pee break here. Yeah, so here's our car. So here, this is the washroom. Apparently here, this is a hole. Can you use it? Yes, it's a hole. Let me take a look. The Taliban gas station. Yes? Yes. Right. Yeah. And is this uh, benzene or diesel? What is it yeah, like? Petrolas, yoke, Petrol? Petrol. Yeah, this is gasoline. And there's Petrol, diesel. So you have both. One is diesel. How much is the petrol? 80? Yeah. So 80, 80 British pence. Liter. 80 pence per liter. And uh, diesel, how much is diesel? Sure. 95. So it's more expensive. And do you accept cards? Credit cards? No, no, it doesn't work. So again, we are neutral towards the Taliban. Uh, we have many bad stories about the crimes they did, the suppression of women, uh, but they treat us very well uh, as tourists. So I'm neutral. So now we're here in some little Taliban village town, looking for a restaurant to have lunch. Lunch time. Shoes up in the restaurant. Does the restaurant have chairs? No. Bread just the bread on the, is the table. Yes. <laughs> this is the main dish. Yes. And yes. This is the second dish. This, yeah, the side dish. So now only missing is fork and spoon. Yeah. If you don't mind, I'll have yeah. Uh, yeah. the burg some music. Oh, don't say that. The thing is haram. Oh, they never had a tourist here. We're the first tourist. This is what I like. This is why I like to travel. That's why I always ask that question. So, first time driving in Afghanistan. Yes, I see. I see the car. I... <laughs> I'm, I'm an experienced driver without accident, although here the road conditions are... Oh my uh, God. I, <laughs> the other cars also pay attention. Speed up! Speed up! Yes, go. yes, I go faster. It's very easy, no, this no, car no, is automatic. No. The only thing is we have all these... Uh, what is this, holes? So here, you have to go blast. slower. Are these bump blasts? No. Yes. Really? Black these were landmines, yeah? Yeah. Okay. 
We have to fix those. Crazy here. Who is the child? On the middle of the road. Begging. Yeah. Now we're entering Ghazni province. Yeah, this is the famous gate. We haven't been to any Taliban checkpoints so far. I think there are also not many here on the countryside. So, over there is the oh Taliban checkpoint. God. So we just let oh Emma drive to see how they will react. Yeah, we'll I'm driving through. I'm just <laughs> about to drive up to a Taliban checkpoint. Oh my God. So I, I have no idea what's going to happen right okay. now. Okay. Okay, that's it. What's the way Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop, stop. Oh, oh here no, we go. Here we go. We've got some problem here. No. I have a problem. Alright, we're getting ourselves in trouble. So we're waiting here at the Taliban checkpoint <laughs> because Emma was driving. Yes, I'm bad. <laughs> So now they're calling the superiors and hopefully let us pass on soon. You know when they stopped us and said that uh, pull over, I thought that they were going to place us under arrest. Oh. For, for a female yes. driving. Then I saw how kindly and politely they treated us and talked to us about it. I'm very happy that, you know... They, they were nice because obviously yeah, they didn't they, know what they were they, they were very nice to us. Hello, we're going to get there in an hour and a half now. <laughs> we don't mess around. Good. We're good, don't worry, I want to live forever. I have no seatbelt on. Yeah, I like Stefan, you're selfish. Oh yeah, what? <laughs> it was a selfish act. I'm sorry, Stefan. He was driving, I guess. Like I'm from Afghanistan. <laughs> I know they're going to get out of my way. I'm sorry, they say I'm selfish. You're going to put a seatbelt on, and you never know, the other car could do something. But as a driver, it's like it's like a ship, right? You got to be the last but one. But you could also put the seatbelts no. on. No, they don't work in the back. <laughs> Put it aside at least. Selfish act. Oh, yeah, I'm so exactly sorry. Right, I didn't want like to offend anyone. It's Checkpoint. Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Chris just turned lock off. Oh my gosh. Give me another energy drink. This is not a Maserati. No, if it was, I wouldn't be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful sunset. Tell As we're reaching 50% of our okay, total yeah. distance, and the roads are getting worse. And then there's really inconverted. Halfway down the way, probably won't make it to Kandahar today, but we keep driving a bit. It's getting dark soon. I'm just curious oh. why they're running down. That car over look, there. Look, something happened there. Multiple. Just jump out. A multi. One sec, let a multi-car pilot. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just curious. No, the tractor oh. fell down. All ran down to help. Accident, so I have to be careful. The engine is still on. You can hear it. We should go, they're checking on us. So here we just stopped to see this uh, bombed out police car. They're coming. The Taliban are coming. Yes, let's go. So is this like a Taliban attack this car? This is from the old government? Yes, this is the one of the remnants of war. Yes. War, war Taliban's war against the uh, and this is a car from the Afghan government, so Taliban yes. attacked these, okay. The Taliban there? The Taliban. Taliban, good. I like Taliban. Yes. Thank you very much, Manana. 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 So, these car passed two kids, Taliban kids. Couldn't tell us much about what was going on here, but you can see here over there. Are these military vehicles? Ah, oh, US vehicles even. like the dust storm I was in in Mosul, it, it, it hit Iraq, but this one's at night. It couldn't, it couldn't be at the worst. Holy shit. Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Just ask the bazaar. Oh my god, I know him. Salam alaikum. Khayasi. What happened? What happened? They need fuel. Oh. We have run out of gas. We don't have, no we don't have gas either. <laughs> you know the guy came up with his hand under his thing? Mm. Oh, you thought he had I a thought gun? he was had a gun. It's dangerous, they could rob it's us. It's dangerous to stop actually. In yes. Sandstorm. I really like the atmosphere of this gas station. You know, with the flickering light. 
here in the desert, like we are 300 kilometers away from any town that has more than 20,000 people. Some gas here. I think it's already full. Beeping. We have a calculator. So it's good like shell. So we're taking a stop to find a hotel. It's just lovely to see uh, the little stands here with the light selling snacks and uh, drinks and water for the floor. Hello, Salam Alaikum. So we're checking out the restaurant here. Salam Alaikum. Again, shoes of same style like the previous one. I think we're the only guests. Can you speak a little bit English? No, just a little bit. What is your name? How are you? How are you? Good? Yeah. <laughs> Good? <laughs> ah, just a little bit. So that's why we have a translator. Our translator is coming. They're outside. Here they're just... Uh, I don't know where they are. I hope they haven't been kidnapped. I don't see them anymore. But uh, I guess they're somewhere out there. Oh. We're here at the hotel right now. Hi. Carpet kitchen. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, our rooms. Yeah, wow, we got to sleep. They're preparing our rooms. They're taking everything out of the restaurant. Okay. <laughs> the carpets, the cushions. I hope they have this kind of cushions like the Taliban. They're very comfortable. Yes, yeah. here. We're waiting for our rooms to get ready. Uh, we spent almost two hours with the Taliban uh, because we were actually at another restaurant going to have dinner and then a group of Taliban showed up and asking about who are we, why are we here because I think they have never seen any foreigners in this land since we are exactly in the middle between Kabul and Kandahar so on the countryside far away from any big town of course none of them could speak English but luckily we had our translators and actually they were very kind, polite and invited us to their police station or their headquarters and we sat down they questioned basically that we're tourists that they saw our visas and then they were very open friendly and invited us to dinner so they had dinner with us they gave us some uh, what is it like rice with bread and meat and then we even had dessert these pomegranates and then they even allowed us to take photos joke around well, let me too quickly have a video of what is happening. So we're having pomegranates here with our friends, the Taliban. Yeah. Yeah, they look through the photos of my phone. They were very happy to see uh, me around the world. And generally, they were very kind people to us. Yeah. I don't want to side with the Taliban or any other part. I'm neutral. I'm just telling you what I'm experiencing here. And um, yes. We hear stories about Taliban um, destroying the life of some local people, but for us as foreigners, we have we are mind blown by the kind and kindness and friendliness. So we don't have, we're not afraid anymore of the Taliban because they are our friends. So right now the kids are curious and they're preparing our room. I think it's in the basement somewhere. So yes. I hope the rooms are comfortable. They are about four pounds per night, so it's four dollars sixty. The current rate. So I guess we can complain about whatever we get. So Emma, what are your thoughts on our arrest one? Our no, arrest. It was an arrest. Actually. Well, then if it was an arrest, it was then that would be my fourth time. <laughs> it just was an arrest. Actually. No, it was our, our questioning. Yes. Um, it was very intense. At one point, when there was twenty of them around, yeah. you know, just staring. Yeah, uh, I was just curious. Yeah, because well, they've never seen a tourist before. Yeah. And it, it, like the paperwork that we have from Kabul, it means nothing yeah. sometimes when you come to these places. It really doesn't mean anything because they, they don't know about it. Mm -hmm. They don't share information. I see, I see. You know? Yeah. And, but then they offered dinner and they were popping out pomegranates for us. Yes. Like pomegranate party. It was fantastic. Yeah, unfortunately it didn't allow you in the photos. They said no, no they women, said no. but in the end we took photos with you anyways. Actually. Yeah, they, they didn't yeah. want me in the photos because they, if they got on social media and yes. they would ask, ask why I was in the photos. Yeah, right. It's the same for you to blacks for us. They don't want to be so, criticized, yeah? But generally they were not so against women. No, yeah. no, they were smiling and everything. Right, very kind people, you know. Yeah. Uh, the first impression was very different. They had like angry looks at us. Who are these guys, you know, when they came to the restaurant? Yeah, they were you were at the, the restaurant and then we came outside. There was about five of them standing there. Yes, with us, so. you're right. Like, yeah. like this, all spaced out. Like, 
Oh yes, don't let these guys go, you know, who are these, you know, and no smiles. But then suddenly they change, after the no, we are safe, they, we are really kind, you know, so. They offered us to give us security and everything. Right, right, very good, so. And the paperwork will allow us to go all over Afghanistan, which I don't think we'll see. So, let's go down to our room, into the basement. Here are the rooms. Uh-huh, this is one room. Here's some other room. Nice, I'll take this room. Here's where we go to sleep. Nice, and here are the toilets. Comfortable. Squash toilets. My blankets, very comfortable. Good morning from somewhere in between Kandahar and Kabul. Uh, I had a wonderful good night here. Slept very, very well, surprisingly. For less than five US dollars. Trying my new outfit, here this head. And now, we have to get ready, it's 7 a.m. Going to Kaldahar. There are little boys coming, getting this place ready. And I have to get my stuff ready, because I'm late, everybody's already upstairs. So, let's go, Kandahar. Morning. Good morning. But uh, was it like, the, not the worst place you ever stayed at? Yeah, to, be, to be honest, I slept better here than the, the Chinese guest house. <laughs> the floor was more comfortable with two or three of these comforters than it was on that box spring. Take photos. Us. Three, four photos. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's cold in the morning here. Yes. But beautiful weather, blue sky. Yeah, very nice Middle Eastern atmosphere. This car. I love it. So, <coughs> stuff in the trunk. I was mind blown by the amazing landscapes and people we have encountered on our journey. Therefore, I believe a road trip is far better than just taking the convenient airplane when you're going from one place to another. We're going to stop at this broken structure, which could be a former military base. Personally, I'm not so interested. Chris? And now Emma also went out. Because maybe some of the viewers might be uh, some soldiers who have been here, servicemen, and they might be interested and they could be familiar with the structure. So this is basically just in between. Where are we now? And still in Ghazni. Ghazni. That's yeah. Ghazni province and the city we just came from? Mokor. Mokor. Okay. This village, you know, there's no city on the way. Is there any city between Kandahar and uh, Kabul, like city which has at yes. least 20,000 people? Maybe. Uh, it's not a yes, city yes, then, it's a yes. town, a town. It's a town. Uh, yeah, but no cities, I mean. It's not a city. No, no it's cities a in between, you know, only towns and villages. Oh, the air is fixed. A little garage here and the trash comes not to the floor. No. Oh yeah, flat tire. Don't worry about anything. Little bit time. Okay. I'm in the UK, yeah. Ah, uh, you in the UK. I don't mind about people. Don't mind nothing. Okay. Take my number. Are you Taliban? Are you Taliban? I'm not Taliban. Oh, you're not Taliban. I'm, I'm simple people. Okay. Not Taliban, no. People. Government. Okay. I'm not touched with. Just normal people. Yes, yeah. civilian. Yeah. I'm not working with the government. Okay. Now. Okay. I'm like leave it. Village guys? Ah, yes. Here, yeah. take his number, so... Yeah, get the number. Uh, so if you have, need any help. So yes, that's no, okay. Yeah, I just come. So, after we got stopped at another checkpoint, this guy saw us, okay, and he you. speaks perfect English here on the countryside. So we get his contact in case we need help. Some Afghan popcorn balls. Not easy to drive. But we're alive. You don't like it? We just got stopped for listening to music. Yeah. I'm a troublemaker. So, uh, so let's do it. Let's get it's illegal. He's not Taliban. He's just a snitch. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We don't want to get into trouble for music, listening to music. And the foreigners coming. Very nice place here. Oh, look at the pictures. How small and watch up, hello. Rice with uh, meat, as We're usual. Yes. <laughs> Just veggies is not available. Yeah. Nothing else with vegetables? No, they're Soup all meat-based. For 20 cents. So lunch is served. Yeah, you can see lots of stuff. Oh yeah, more meat. Here is barely any meat. Okay, wait, and what is this? 
milk. The same as Goat yesterday. milk. That's dough. Dough, the same, right? Again, oh, very watery. Yeah. How old is he? Eight. Eight. Eight, Eight years seven. old. Wow, and he's going to become a great mechanic. Oh, oh. Very interesting. Yeah. Wow, he knows to do the car. What is your name? Sam. Or Sam. Uh huh. Wow. <laughs> Very nice. Nice to meet you, Hassan. Yeah, so this is the little car repair shop with a bird inside. So they can listen to some music. Oh, yes. So I like them. Good. You speak English? English? No, no English. Ah, yes. Yeah. Oh, and the kids want to touch. Yes. Oh, what do you have here? What is this? Coal? You like to touch, yeah? Nice to meet you. Very interesting just to see daily life here in this little town on the stopover, three hours away from Kandahar. Oh yes, and he's changing the wheel. Yeah, very interesting. What drinks do you have today? Do you have, um, can I see what is inside the fridge? Oh, on this side. Let me see what is there. Magic? What is this? A little juice, mango juice. All right. Oh, and pomegranate. Hello. Yeah, I love pomegranate. Okay. I want this one. How much is this? 20? Okay. That's it. Thank you. Oh, wow, it's only 10 cents. Amazing. Thank you very much. Yes, banana. Oh, 10 cents for a drink only. This is a very good price. Yes, and he's, he's the boss. He's the mechanic boss. Okay. How old has he been when he started making this uh, thing? Was he as old as he or was he... It says that, uh, you know, I've been doing this yes. uh, since 17, uh, since I was 17. Ah, uh, 17. And he's only eight, though. Yeah. No, who is the who is the youngest car mechanic here? Me, I came to join Terin. For Terin, Kasi ke bishama car mechanic yes. The main mechanics yes. in this shop uh, are these people. Ah, but he is a mechanic too. Look, he yes. knows how to change the tire. He's a mechanic. Yeah, no. He's a mechanic. They say that he is just an apprentice. Ah, oh, apprentice. Okay. When? Yes. Thank you. When did he start working? One year. He's been working here. One year. So he was seven years old. He was only seven years old when he started to become a mechanic. And look, he knows how to change the tire. He's a professional. Look at his work. Uh, you know, he's saying that yes. we, we allow these kids to work here half, yes. you know, uh, half day. Yes. And attend the school the other half. Oh, that's good. He go to school, right? He still goes to school. And the other half he works. And how much does he earn? He pays him 200 Afghanis on a weekly basis. On one week? Yeah. Wow. A week, 200 Afghanis. Okay, two pounds per week only for the apprentice. Oh. So this sign means they are land land. This sign means that there are landmines in this area. But our friends are going close to the car, interviewing a nomad. This is how they live. They have this is made of mud. Very interesting here, look. It's, but it's very sturdy, you know, it's like... I think they use straw and mud and a little bit of wood to make this kind of houses. Very interesting. Let's hope there are no mines. So, we just arrived here in Kandahar and we're looking for a hotel now. And so far the first impression is very good. Streets are good, clean and nice. And another checkpoint. Bernard Khubasi, John Juras, Karor Karori, Salamat Boshi, Zenda Boshi. So, we're asking for directions um, either to a hotel or to the bus station. It's the Taliban police. Look at this cannon on the back. The Taliban with the cannon. <laughs> yes, maybe the Taliban know if they have uh, hotels. Okay, here we are at the Millat Hotel. So, we're checking out the hotel right now. It should cost uh, 12 pounds per night with private bathroom and Wi-Fi. Yeah. Looks quite nice. He says we have to wait here. All right. I think it looks nice so far. And for the price, I think it's good. No need to negotiate. Nice rooms. I even got the real toilet. 
very lucky, while the other ones have all squat toilets. Very nice carpet. I love the seating area. Hotel Milet, Milat. Hotel Milat, highly recommended. Yes, Salam Alaikum. Salam Alaikum. So we have to buy towels ourselves. Seems the hotel is not providing them. But apparently there's a shop about across the street which sells them for one or two dollars. And their kids are ready. It's very beautiful now at sunset. This was a wonderful stress-free trip to Kandahar. Um, so that's going to be a video about Kandahar, Helmand and this region. I have no idea what's next, but for now I'm happy to be here. Take a good rest and a good sleep. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe, share and yeah, support this channel. Thank you.